Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Yes, if you hadn't noticed, I do happen to record and upload a lot of videos. Most of the videos I do, of course, are recorded at live.perillo.com, live to virtual tape. Don't really like doing video editing. And yes, I do record videos, uh, you know, when I'm on the go, not just when I'm doing things live. But uh, ultimately, I'll, I'll keep the edits basic. I'm, I'm just not into the whole editing thing. Not my style. Let me do it live to tape. Let me, let me just rant for five minutes and I'll be good to go. But people do ask, you know, what I use to edit video, and I use a variety of tools. Uh, I use MPEG Stream Clip. That's freeware for either Mac uh, OS X or uh, uh, Windows. Then there is, of course, Windows Movie Maker I've used before. Uh, the new version that they're working on that's currently in beta with the Windows Live series is actually pretty decent. Um, uh, iMovie HD, which is the older version I've, uh, I've used. Uh, but I, I think that iMovie 09 is a decent replacement. It's certainly better than iMovie 08. That was just horrible. Um, so I use a variety of tools. I, I tried Final Cut Express. Uh, it was overwhelming. I mean, even the Express version was just way too much for me. And, I mean, I'd have to take a class and dive into it. It's like, dude, I'm I'm never going to go this deep into video editing. It, it's just not it's not going to happen. Never never will happen. It's just not accessible enough. It's got to be easy. And some people, you know, are, are looking for uh, tools that aren't going to cost them anything. In which case, I will tell you about this particular product uh, that was relayed to me by Steve Johnson uh, from techjohnson.co.nr. And uh, it's the ZS4 video editor. If you head over to zs4.net, uh, you'll find that you can download this utility. It's available for Mac, uh, it's available for Windows, and it's available for Linux, cross-platform. Uh, you know, the thing I like about it is that it's free and that it's cross-platform. And it's got a handful of very useful features. The thing that I don't like about it is that it's ugly. I mean, ugly. But it's free and ugly. Free, but ugly. So if I zoom in, I'll, I'll, as I'm going to do here, the screenshots will kind of illustrate the ugliness. But it's free. Uh, full featured, uh, as far as a video editor is concerned, uh, you know they've got masking built in, uh, as well as other uh, effects. Uh, you know, so you can get in, d dive deep into uh, you know different uh, you know if it's nonlinear editing, as you would come to expect uh, from a video editing tool. It does work. It's functional, but ugly. Can't complain too loudly. So if you are looking for a video editor that isn't going to cost you anything and you're not happy with everything else out there, ZS4.net is probably about as good as it's going to get as far as free but ugly is concerned. But it's free but ugly. My email address is chris at perillo.com. Maybe you have other video editing suggestions to pass along uh, in general or software solutions or run cross-platform, free, open source, whatever. And of course, you're also welcome to make those recommendations in our community at geeks.perillo.com if you don't uh, already leave a comment here in the corresponding post for this video. Uh, and, uh, you know, we've also got this live video feed too. Uh, this is a clip that we recorded as it was happening live, so I didn't have to edit it. Just gets transcoded and uploaded. Easy, you know, no editing involved. Don't, I'm not a big editor guy. Uh, if you want to join us in the chat room, you're more than welcome to. We're typically talking tech 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live. Dot Perillo, but ugly. We'll see you later.